Hi everyone, Janie here, and today I'm going to share one of my favorite paint pour techniques that is so easy to do, and you can get some beautiful results like you see here. This technique involves using a straw and gives you a little more control over the results than some other techniques. So let's get started. So I covered my work area with a piece of wax paper, and I have these little cups to sit the canvas up on to keep it elevated. You can use anything for that, including applesauce cups or whatever you have. And I'm using this 4x6 flat canvas that I got from the Dollar Tree, and it comes in a pack of three, and Dollar Tree also has them in other sizes, and you can't beat the price. And even though I have a lot of paints in my Adults and Crafts kit, I'm going to be using these Deco Art Ready to Pour acrylic paints because I happen to have those in the colors that I want to use for this project. And because they're ready to pour, that means I don't have to mix anything with them to do the paint pours. And before I get started, I'm going to be putting painter's tape around the edges of the backside so that if any of the paint gets on the backside, it'll be easy to remove just by removing the tape. If you don't have painter's tape, you can always use that purple tape or washi tape. Also, I decided to use four cups to hold up that canvas for better stability since these cups are kind of small. Okay, now it's time to get started. And the first thing I'm going to do is cover the canvas with white paint. And there are two ways to do this. You can put a lot of paint on and then tip the canvas around until the canvas is totally covered. Or you can use a spatula to spread it on like frosting. However, using a spatula does make it more difficult to get it perfectly smooth without any lines, but for this particular technique, it's not going to matter. To be honest, I usually just flood the canvas and tip it around until it's completely covered, but since the spatula came in my Adults and Crafts paint pour kit, I thought I'd give it a try. Okay, well that white paint is still wet. I'm going to start adding lines of paint using the colors that I picked out. You can make diagonal lines, wiggly lines, a line branching off from a line, or two lines. It is totally up to you and your taste and your creativity. But whatever direction you decide to go, be sure to put the colors next to each other like I'm showing here. And then I like to add a line of white on either side, as you'll see here in a minute. And by the way, your base color doesn't have to be white. Black looks really cool also. And you don't have to use three colors like I'm using. You can use two or three or four. It's totally up to you. And now that we have the paint on there, it's time to grab a straw. It doesn't matter whether you use a skinny straw or a fatter straw, it's totally up to you and they give slightly different results. I'm using a skinnier straw because I'm working on a small canvas and I think it'll give me the results that I want. But if you're working on a large canvas, you can even use a blow dryer if you wanted to. So as you can see, I just keep turning the canvas and blowing the paint in different directions for different effects. The awesome thing about any type of paint pour is that it's usually pretty random, so there's not really a right or a wrong. But as I said earlier in the video, you have a little more control using this straw technique. It's nice to be able to blow the paint in the direction that you want it to go, and you can keep changing it up as you go along until you get a look that you're happy with. And I am quite happy with this. And once you're done, you can smooth the edges by wiping off the excess paint with a spatula or with your finger. And now it's time to remove the tape from the back, and it doesn't look like much paint got back there. And once you have the tape off, if you have any excess paint that creates bumpy edges, you can use a sanding block or sandpaper, or if you're really careful, you can use a craft knife to remove any excess paint. So, if you are new to paint pouring, or if this is a technique that you haven't tried yet, I hope you give it a try, because I think you will love it. And I hope you leave a comment below and let me know what you think, and if you would like to see more paint pour techniques. Thank you all so much for stopping by. I truly appreciate you all and hope you find many things on my channel to inspire you. Happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.